Hi folks, this is Tim, and I keep coming across a lot of YouTube sites and videos that talk about flat earth, that the earth is actually flat. I want to talk to you today about the fact that the earth is not flat, it's a sphere. And the cell phone that you maybe even are looking at this video right now, the cell phone in your pocket can prove to you that the earth is indeed a sphere. Now, I was talking to this lady not too long ago, and uh, I work in transportation, and so I had a chance to talk to her. She was a firm believer in uh, climate change. They used to call it global warming. Now it's just climate change, man-made climate change. And I explained to her that I had some serious doubts about what they were promoting as climate change, and she... She seemed, seemed incredulous about that. Well, why? How can you deny that? Um, I'm not denying anything. I'm going on science. I'm not a science denier. The Vostok ice core samples clearly show that in the last half a million years there's been four distinct ice ages on this planet. And each one, either each warming trend coincided with a rise in CO2, but they're not sure whether it was a priori or after or during the rise in temperature. But clearly well before industrialization of man there were dramatic rises in co2 levels on planet earth it had nothing to do with humans this is a natural phenomena that we are yet to begin to understand but you seem to question that meant that i was denying science when i was actually trying to use science to come to an understanding of what was going on and she goes i bet you don't even believe in gravity i said well uh yeah, by the strict definition, no, I don't believe in gravity. Um, gravity does not exist. There's something else that does exist, though. And it's infinitely more wonderful and empowering. You see, Newton, his brand is Isaac Newton was. He never could understand what gravity was. So he sort of skirted around the issue. He just said it was an unknown force. We could predict it. We could measure it. But I'll be damned, I know what the hell it is or what's causing it. 1907, this young man named Albert Einstein wrote a paper called The Special Theory of Relativity. He dealt with bodies in motion and acceleration and speed of light. Then he, 10 years later, wrote The General Theory of Relativity. That essentially was an extensive examination of what indeed was gravity. And gravity is not a mysterious force. Gravity, simply, to those who aren't familiar with Einstein's work, gravity is merely time. The force that occurs when you drop a hammer is time. More specifically, warped time-space created by a spherical body that has warped the fabric of space and time itself. When you drop that hammer, what that hammer is actually doing, and what you are witnessing is a time traveler. That hammer is accelerating in a linear path into the future. The incremental fragment, fragment in which you observe it is the amount of speed is accelerating towards the time frame that it should be in because it's been warped out of its original time placement. That's it. It wants to get to the center of the earth. That's its equilibrium point. That's what we're trying to do when we walk on earth. We have been displaced by a time measurement. This can all be laid out mathematically. And that's what Einstein did. The forces of gravity are time itself. A force that scientists in the 18th century could not have imagined or envisioned and how powerful time traveling is. And that's what these objects are doing. Trying to get back to where they belong. The universe, all objects, and everything that we see is sphere, spherical. The planets, the sun, the earth. In fact, it's believed that the universe itself is curved. It's, that's not even a linear straight line. It's believed that if you, if you take the 
distance of the visible universe and you multiply it by pi that you could determine the distance of an object where the space object were to leave today at the speed of light on a straight line 24 billion years from now it would, it would arrive to where it started like Magellan circumventing the globe even though it was on a straight path it actually would have taken a curved trajectory because the universe itself exists in curved space-time if you go by Einstein's field equations there could be no other conclusion because when you have mass you will have this curvature. The universe is full of mass. Not dark mass. As you see, this is another topic. But dark energy doesn't exist. That's not even there. That's been put forward by people who are promoting the creation myth of the Big Bang. Trying to support the Genesis account. But again, that's, that's for another day. I said I would talk about the cell phone. The equations that came out of Einstein's field work are built into the satellites that are up above circling the spherical Earth. The time delineation equations that would show exactly the speed of the satellite to the trajectory of the motion of the Earth, and blah, blah, blah. All this stuff is factored. And you know what happens? If they didn't make the adjustment, your, your GPS on your cell phone would be off by as much as 2.7 kilometers in my work vehicle. Your GPS would be off by as much as 2.7 kilometers every day because of its losing time. Said That is an experiment that it would have been impossible in 1907 for Einstein to have performed. That's how you would have falsified his theory. But it wasn't falsified, it was proved by the GPS satellites. Einstein nailed it. Gravity is time. Time that could only exist in a spherical Earth. That's it. It's proven. The case is closed. I don't know the education level on people who believe in flat Earth. And I'm not insulting anyone. I'm sure there are PhDs that might believe it. But you could go to the bookstore or Amazon and you can find great books written by astrophysicists that can explain a lot. I'm sorry, flat earthers. But scientifically, you are wrong. Either you're right and Einstein's wrong. You know what? I'll side with Einstein. I think Uncle, Uncle Albert got it right. 